Darn. Whoa. Hi, it's Dora. I was uh, trying to slip into this chair before the camera started rolling. I taped a video earlier, but uh, I didn't have the camera position positioned correctly. And uh, if I look different to some of you, it's because cancer changes everything about your life. And I didn't always look like this, but cancer, this lymphoma, I have peripheral T-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, not otherwise specified. And now with all that said, I have lymphoma. And I am, I have just completed my second attempt at chemo to placed me in remission and uh, as most of you know it was not successful neither was the first time so my remission is like uh, it shouldn't even be called remission it's just called a short period of time when your tumors shrink and as soon as we stop or even before that they'll start to grow again and we hope now that a stem cell transplant will help you have a remission. The doctor actually said longer remission, but I'm looking for the first remission, really. Uh, because cancer changes everything, including my skin, uh, it makes my skin dark. So what has changed with me is I didn't used to wear makeup a lot unless I was trying to be girly. But now that this cancer wants to give me this deep, dark, like Congo tan, I decided that I should start wearing makeup and I should get used to wearing hair, my other hair, because I'll be bald very soon. And uh, even though a few guys think that bald chicks are sexy, and you know, maybe there are some chicks who think they're sexy bald. I know Don Bess says she rocks bald, but I just am not feeling it. Um, I tried it and I went fishing, bald, my head was cold, it just didn't go well. But anyway, back to the cancer, I am uh, just a few days uh, from my 51st birthday and I wanted to have a party, but all of the people I know are sick and so they can't come. And so it just may be me and a very delicious chocolate cake and I do plan to eat the entire thing because I'm trying to bulk up for the stem cell transplant because Tim said that I'll be making poo poo a lot and uh, you know I may lose weight and then I'll start to look sick like I have cancer so and that's what my friends say you don't look sick your skin looks great and I said well thank you uh, it may look great but it's about 10 shades darker than it was like a couple years ago um, but I guess that's what you have to live with. I guess that's why make, they make makeup. I've seen a lot of women wear makeup that makes them look like they're like 15 shades lighter than they are in perfect skin. I'm not even sure how this makeup is going to look, but I know that this is one of my favorite wigs. Yeah, if I had natural hair this long, I would probably dye it this color. I think it's hot. It, it has a name, all of my wigs have a name. This is Beyonce and do not tell anybody, don't share this with Beyonce's people because I know I don't look like her, no I can't sing like her. But uh, this is Dora Wadi from Catonsville, Maryland saying hello and uh, saying that uh, I'm still smiling even though I may not get a stem cell donor uh, who could possibly cure me. I'm still going to smile and hopefully smile through whatever they have in store for me for that transplant. So I like to give a big smile. Uh, let me see if I can work out my best. That's it. A big smile to all my friends, especially to my girl Helen, all the way over in Australia. Aussie lady, I am thinking of you, praying of you, meditating and reaching out my hand. If you close your eyes and feel hard enough, you'll feel me squeezing yours. So here's a big happy smile out to you. 
and to all the others I hope that you make a video so that you can share yourself and put a face and a voice and movement to those little pictures that we stare at on Facebook the little profile picture and bring your profile to life so uh, cheers to you all uh, Alex I just had to throw this in here that, that video of you was really really hot and sexy and I love the voice and the accent and uh, yeah, it really is too bad that I'm old enough to be your mother. My son's 33 and I have two granddaughters. But if you have any older brothers or anything who are single, uh, could you inbox me, please? I mean, I have cancer, but, you know, I'm still a lady. Okay, I don't have anyone to fake this, so I'm just going to have to stop it and uh, say, keep on smiling, folks smiling and laughter and loving. Now I'm gonna stop and get out of this little chair which belongs to my granddaughter but uh, it's very comfortable. <sighs> Love ya!